Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the second part of my Euro 2020 jersey review and yes for the second part we're gonna do group B again as with the first part I'm gonna go by pot so we start with Belgium then Russia then Denmark and we'll finish with the pot 4 team from Finland and yeah I decided to wear for this video Russia I was contemplating Finland but it's summer and I have only a long sleeved Finnish shirt and for Belgium yeah I have Belgium hanging up there that's a good reason why I want to show you this 2008 Russia jersey because it will be useful in the video itself I would say let's get started and we'll start with Belgium which is notable for two things the Belgium home jersey first of all this is one of the flagship designs for Adidas for this Euros where you go all with these artsy effects you know, brush strokes all over and you're gonna put not only red but you like for Euro 2 2008 you showcase also uh, black as an alternative color and red and black work very well together the other big thing is that the new federation crest um, actually is, was presented, yes, it has uh, a very strong resemblance to a coffee brand, an Italian one, uh, where it's a D, this is the B, so I, maybe a little bit of plagiarism, but uh, it has, has to be said that the logo actually works quite well, especially for, um, you know, you all, all, always have to judge logos, also how does it work in a digital age, and this one works really, really well, it's initially, in, uh, instantly recognizable with the B, then you have the little crown on there's the, uh, the gold and the laurel leaves on the bottom. I actually th think the more I look at it, it is r the better it is done and they stayed away from the sort of circular crest. Is the B uh, the way it's done or maybe a little bit too much? Yeah, potentially, but I really think I have, have to say uh, this is a rebranding that has been done actually quite well. Still have a slight preference for the old one but I have, to, I have to say this is not a bad alternative. Which comes out to the main design of the jersey. I really like the tone of the red, it is very strong. And the reason why they chose black as the accent color of the jersey is because the uh, numbers are of course in yellow, so you get all the three national colors in there. Also, very well done. Is it a little bit too much with this big black stroke and then so, so a few other red in there? Yeah. Potentially. Is it bad? Nah, I don't think so, to be honest. Uh, I have to I have to say it It has a certain aggressiveness that I actually think is a little bit of a uh, breath of fresh air. The last one for, for the World Cup had this beautiful design on there, uh, which probably is a stronger look, uh, you know, a more iconic look in long term. However, this one has a certain aggressiveness to it that I actually really like Belgium uh, like and I think Belgium also needed it because the Belgian team, despite all, all, all the stars, are never um, have a very aggressive... There, there's never the aggression like you uh, associate with Spain in there. So that, I think, is really well done. The biggest complaint I have with that one is less this... Uh, you know, brush stroke effect, although I think they could, could, could have done without the red ones. I think if you just take the black ones and maybe paint a Belgian flag on on, on, on there, that, that would be even better. But seemingly you don't know how the Belgian flag looks like, because if you look at the color, red, black, yellow, uh, the Belgian flag, look, look at the crest, it's black, yellow, red. It doesn't make much sense. Another reason why I put up this Belgium jersey up there. There you see the flag trim properly done. Here it is completely messed. Reminds me a little bit of how they messed up the German flag during the 1986 World Cup cover, cover, cover coverage. Whenever they flipped over, there was also something uh, not quite right. Why don't you get this right? This is the one thing that actually drops the jersey a little bit down in uh, my you know, the way I see it, and uh, therefore I'm gonna give this only... Uh, yeah, there's, there are too many things that I I, I think this could have easily gotten an 8 stars, but I, th I think with all with the getting the Belgian flag wrong and all that kind of stuff, I think we are straddling between 6 and 7, and I just, because it's a little bit more daring, it's probably one of the better designs that Adidas puts out, I wanna give it a 7 here. Um, the away jersey has similar issues and I get it, white, alright, we had had white Belgian jer away jersey, a traditional look, 
it is the classic Adidas template that I really do not like all, all that much, especially the way the shoulders, it just doesn't look right to me. Uh, the crest is a big improvement on there. But then again, the sleeve cuffs, um, hello for Wales, you put so many colors on there. Uh, why can't we have a Belgian flag there? You tried it for Germany, you could have put a yellow band between the black and the red. Would have added something nice, especially since there's no other yellow because everything else will be black, uh, the, uh, the names and the numbers. And so uh, it's not a bad jersey, but it really goes right down what I would, you know, boring European jersey like uh, Switzerland and, and so on. Strong team, but it's nothing outstanding. Five stars, I find it downright boring. Uh, Russia uses the same template as the Belgian away jersey and a whole lot of controversy because initially it was released with blue and white sleeve cuffs, uh, kind of to mimic the Russian flag. I have a big problem. The Russian flag is white, blue, red, not red, blue, white that turns out is Serbia. And so all the Russian players that were not necessarily under contract with Adidas, but rather Nike, of course, made a big stink and decided not nah, this cannot stand. We cannot have this. And so they changed the jersey to one with purely white sleeve, sleeve cuffs. Honestly, it's not an improvement. And again, I'm wondering, uh, what's the problem of switching the sleeve cuffs around? I mean, they're already so big and make a third line. For Wales, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines on there. I think it is entirely conceivable to make a proper flag trim there and also make it on, on the collar. Now, I really like the addition of blue on there, but I have to say that the version that they chose now is a little bit better because it's more cohesive um, with the collar and also with the trim here. Uh, and for that reason, I have to say, uh, this saves the jersey a little bit. I am still not sold on the whole pattern here uh, or the all over print because it has nothing Russian with it. I like that the double eagle is became from so small, now really big and very, pro uh, very prominent. One of the better national symbols on a soccer jersey, I have to say. Uh, but yeah. <sighs> What can I say over, 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 over. it's it's an, uh, a decent Russian jer uh, a jersey, but it's nothing really exciting. So for that reason, six stars, which is nothing I can say about the home jersey. That one is actually really, 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 really good. Uh, it tries to mimic the, uh, this was the away jersey in 2000. So it try, try, tries to mimic the white home jersey with the Russian flag band across. And I really like how it goes over to the sleeve cuffs. And here it actually makes sense. Uh, that you only have the two tool straps, so you really have like the Russian flag on there. It's a really strong and beautiful jersey, I have I have to say. The moment I saw this, I, I, I thought this is uh, probably my second favorite white Russia jersey that I've ever seen, the favorite being the away jersey from the 2014 World Cup with the Earth's color on, on there. But this one is a close second, absolute gorgeous one. Um, I am. I think if they would have delineated the flag a little, a little bit more. Now it's a really strong look. I'm gonna give this nine nice stars. There's some, something just uh, gets me away from the thing, but it's a really, really nice look, look, look jersey. Maybe a little bit more blue around here, maybe. But you know, uh, don't take me away. Nine stars. Nine stars. Going over to Denmark, um, that is a jersey that was released in 21 because they were uh, still wearing the World Cup jersey, which I have hanging here, uh, in 2020. So the uh, Hummel really waited for with, with, with the release for a long time. It probably would have been a late release in 2020. Um, I have to say, at the same time that I was um, seeing this one, I also looked at buying Freiburg jerseys, which were also from Hummel. And I know that my wife, my wife and I were, were, were discussing the Freiburg home which was, was a similar design as this one, uh, red with uh, the white uh, reagent sleeves. And we both kind of said, yeah, it's a little bit weird. And then Denmark comes out, out with the same design. I have, have to say, I 
initially and I still liked uh, the pure red design better. However, having said that, um, there is precedence to that, especially since in 92 they also had those uh, contrasting sleeves, albeit in a much uh, more crazy design on there. So in that sense it really made sense to put out uh, these raglan sleeves. I'm not sure about the blue sleeves uh, in here, but you know the, uh, the slight navy blue accents become now a feature of Denmark jerseys, so I'm fine. Uh, in case you have noticed, there's also a sound wave pattern on on there, seemingly a uh, sound, sound wave where they recorded the Danish fans singing the national anthem ahead of a clash against Ireland, Nations League, Euro qual qual qualifiers, whatever. So they put this on there, which honestly does, 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 doesn't do much to, uh, to me. It is, I mean, with all that said, I think it, it's a good jersey, but it's not an exciting jersey. I think Denmark jerseys have been uh, ba bad before, um, and for that reason, I'm also sticking more with the six stars. The away jersey, same thing, except the sound wave is uh, now 45 degrees turned, kind of like a sash. Uh, it takes out all the red, it keeps the white sleeves, and you still have the slivers in blue here. Um, actually takes it down a notch for me, uh, going to five stars. There's really nothing to it. And then potentially the most exciting uh, jersey on uh, that was released just now is this all red. It's the, it's the first red out jer jersey. I mean, we had blackout jerseys are the, are the latest trend. In Denmark they said, okay, we'll go with an all red jersey. Um, and I'm really asking myself, was this necessary to have it just red on red, especially with the Federation crest? If I want to have a soccer jersey, where I don't, uh, you know, one big part for soccer jerseys for me is that there is a crest that pops somehow. This doesn't. Uh, it is all red. Yes, it's a nice style. And I really like the reference to the 86 uh, jerseys there. That I think is a great stylish element. However, you don't really see much of it. Uh, when I see it in play, when I saw it, uh, when, when I played it against Germany, Germany I have to say I was a little bit, yeah, I don't quite see the reason why it's just a gimmick jersey. Although I have a feeling that we might see this at the Euros worn. Uh, they call it the red wall, uh, the Rode Mühe uh, uh, jersey. I probably butchered that Danish now. Uh, but honestly, I know it is well received. To me, I really ask myself why. Four stars. Yeah, hit me. If they would have released the 86, uh, they have released it. If they would have won that one, I think this would have been much better. Okay, we need a jersey that lifts us all up. We had the Russia jersey that had the flag on there. Finland delivers on all accounts. What Nike did with the Finland home jersey, it is one of my favorite jerseys from 2020. This is beautiful. I always said uh, a Nordic cross on a Nordic country's jersey does very well. It makes a very unique and strong look and this is instantly became one of my favorite jerseys. Um, I can tell you right now, 10 stars. But let me, what I really like is that it's not only uh, the cross here, but it goes a little bit over on the, on the sleeves uh, as well, which makes it stronger. Maybe the one thing that we could discuss are the choices of colors because uh, I know uh, around the um, um, Finnish crest there is a little, little bit of gold but do, do we need to read the swoosh in gold? I think the swoosh would have looked slightly better in silver and also then the color gradient on the cross um, maybe but on the other side having it in a much darker tone that actually then fades into the blue from the Finnish flag gives it a certain appeal that really 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 low looks nice. This is a jersey I liked instantly it is also it uses a similar style as turkey for name names and numbers but th thanks to across the off-centered placement of the number makes actually a whole lot of sense it's very pleasingly put i really 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 like this i really do this is a wonderful jersey uh, jersey i said Puki gives it away it's 10 stars and now they said it, it is a 10 star so it's a jersey it's uh one of my fav favorite jerseys at this euros the away jersey, if you look at it this way, also doesn't look that bad. It's not as exciting, by far not, um, but it's a template. Uh, I actually like the color, I like the dark blue base and then the light, light blue. That's all fine by me. 
where I draw the line is that if you look at the back, this what turns out like for football, American football, football churches is um, on the shoulder, goes then into a raglan style on the back, which just makes next to no sense whatsoever. This is a real design breaker form for me, and I think Spurs had that. Um, and so a really nice jersey actually doesn't look all that nice to me anymore. Yes, the colors redeem it. The off-center placement of the 10 here does not make much sense, but I know that Nike likes to do that because people complain if the number is sensitive, that it's not as comfortable to wear, potentially. But honestly, this thingy completely uh, puts it off for, for, for me. We would have talked here probably uh, 8 or whatever. With that feature here, I cannot go higher than 6. And 6 is where I, I, I will go with this one. In any case, let me know what you thought about the jerseys in this group. Which ones do you like? Which ones did you not like? I sense we might disagree on some of my gradings, but you know, my opinion, I want to hear yours. Drop it in the comments below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated with everything that happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!